Hey, so this is just a really quick video to clarify one of Rigify's many peculiarities, and that is the inverted tail problem. If you're using one of the standard quadruped meta rigs and you check the deformation bones, you'll see that they're pointed opposite to what they are in the meta rig. And this really isn't a problem if you're just animating in Blender. However, it may become a problem if you're trying to export a Rigify rig to a game engine, for example. Now, occasionally I get criticized that my videos are needlessly long, especially for advanced users. So if you know your way around Rigify, here is the solution in a couple of seconds. All you need to do is go to the Rigify options for the tail and uncheck the connect chain option and generate or regenerate your rig. And after that, the tail will be pointing in the correct direction. This will have a tiny, almost negligible effect on your rig. Uh, you probably won't notice it. So if that solved your problem, that's perfect. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you in another video. But for people who may need more hand-holding, I'm going to try to explain the whole process in a little bit more detail, and you may learn some cool new things in the process. So let's see what happens. Uh, here I have this cute puppy, and I got it from Sketchfab. They need to give credit to the creator of this model. So here it is. And now let's try to rig this dog with the quadruped rig. So I can press Shift A, armature, and from basic, I can select the basic quadruped, or I can go to animals and choose the wolf and the cat. This will basically have the same effect as far as the tail is concerned. So I'll go with the basic quadruped to save myself some trouble. Go to edit mode, scale it down to the 3 cursor like this. And then from the side view, I'll enable, I'll enable in front and start aligning the bones. So this here is the separation between the neck and the spine, and we need to keep these bones connected, otherwise Rigify will show an error when we try to generate. Uh, this has to do with the rig type. If I look here, there is the connect chain option, and I made a separate video about that. So I'll keep aligning the bones. So here is the end of the spine, and here these bones that point in the opposite direction are the tail. So let's align them with the tail. And next, I'll align the legs really quickly. Oops, I had the tail selected. Okay, so something like this will do. Um, and now I can generate the rig in object mode, generate rig. Select the mesh, shift select the rig, control P, automatic weights. Cool, and now if I try to move the uh, tail widgets, the tail will be deforming. And if I just use the controls, everything is fine. I'll hide the meta rig, and now the problem becomes apparent if I unhide the deformation bones. And I'm going to turn on in front, and you'll see that. Let's unhide the meta rig actually. And move it up a little bit. So now back to the generated rig. If we compare the direction of the tail bones in the generated rig, they run opposite to those in the meta rig. And if the hierarchy of the rig is of importance to you, that may become a problem. But it is definitely not a problem in the rig itself. And if you just need to animate this dog here in Blender, you don't have to worry about this. So if you're exporting Rigify to another application, I recommend our Game Rig Tools add-on. And with it, I can generate a Game Rig, and that will basically extract the deforming bones from the complex control rig. It can do much more, but uh, extracting the deformed bones is the main uh, the default option. So I'm going to keep everything to default, click OK. And now if I look at my extracted Game Rig, it will have this inverted tail. So what can we do about this? I'm going to go to object mode, unhide my meta rig, and uh, select the meta rig Alt G to bring it back into place. I'm going to press slash to isolate it. Go to pose mode and select the first bone of the tail, go to the bone tab. And here, 
under the Rigify options, we have the settings for detail, and there is the connect chain option. That is the exact same uh, option that we have on the neck as well. And basically that creates a little connection between the tail and the spine. Let's take a look at it actually. Um, here is the generated rig. And if I select this twig bone here between the, the tail and the spine, they move together, okay? So now I'll go back to the meta rig, pose mode, and look at the options and I'll just uncheck this uh, connect chain option and generate again. And now if I hide the meta rig and the deform rig, which I don't need, I need to first unparent the dock from the game rig and then parent it again to, to the generated rig. Now I'm going to delete the game rig. And now if I show the deformation bones for this dog, they will be pointing in the correct direction. So that's it, that's the solution. Um, unchecking the connect chain option did change the rig in a tiny, tiny way. Um, if you remember before, we had one single control here, uh, tweak control that controlled the end of the spine and the beginning of the tail together. Now we have two of those. So that's the whole price you're paying. I don't think people are using these tweak bones all the time. And even if you do, you, you can just move both at the same time. So that's it. This is how you solve the problem. From here, you can generate a game rig if you're using game rig tools, or you can do whatever you wanted to do. I'm not sure why people want to fix the tail. To me, the only reason is if you want to export the deformation bones to another application. Big thanks to my supporters. And if this video has been useful, consider joining them, like, subscribe, and tune in next time. I post videos every week.